hey guys in the last video we have seen what is a tree in graph theory and today we are going to see what is a forest okay so here is the definition of forest a forest is the disjoint union of trees so a forest is a union of trees but that union should be disjoint in terms of set of vertices and if you see in terms of the graph you can say that it should be disconnected okay so let's see what does it mean so see here this is a tree so in the last video we have seen such a tree okay so there is no cycle in this graph and if there are n vertices n vertices then there are n minus 1 edges okay so n is the number of vertices then n minus 1 will be the number of edges now we will make the components of this tree by deleting some links okay by deleting some edges so see here i will first delete this edge okay so this edge is deleted now let me delete this edge right so when i deleted these two edges now there are three components in this graph okay now this is not a tree this is not a tree because there are no n minus 1 edges okay because i have deleted some edges so this is not a tree okay so this is a graph and this is called as the forest means individually these are trees this is one tree this is second tree see individually they satisfy the tree property right so you can say this as t1 okay so see there are 1 2 3 4 5 vertices 5 vertices and how many edges are there 1 2 3 4 4 edges okay and there is no cycle so this is a tree so individually this component is a tree then individually this component is also a tree and individually this component is also a tree but now they are disconnected so this is called as a forest means a disconnected union of trees or a disjoint union of trees so what is the meaning of disjoint see make number of sets three okay three sets because there are three trees in this forest so the first tree what are the vertices a b c d h a b c d h okay now second tree c f g e what are the vertices f g e this is the second tree i will call it as t2 the third tree i j k i j k okay this is the third tree so this is a disjoint union of trees okay so there is no common vertex here so they are disjoint these sets are disjoint and every individual set is a tree so a forest is union of trees a disjoint union of trees because they are disconnected so this is forest now let's see here is another forest so look at this this is one component in this forest this is another component this is third component and this is fourth component right so they individually are trees t1 t2 t3 and t4 but this total union of trees this graph this total graph will be called as a forest okay now this is another example of the forest see here in this graph there is only one tree okay so this is also a forest so a graph with only one tree is also a forest right so 
every tree is a forest means only one tree is a forest but every forest is not a tree okay means vice versa is not true okay why because see this is a forest this is a forest but not a tree this is a forest but not a tree but this is a forest and this is a tree also because there is only one tree this can also be called as a forest so a graph with only one tree can also be called as a forest right so this is the forest now we will see some important formulae so let's see so here is the question if there are n vertices and k components in a forest then number of edges is equal to what okay so you know this formula for a tree so for a tree if there are n vertices then how many number of edges are there they are n minus 1 okay so n minus 1 are the number of edges but what are the number of edges for a forest we want to derive the formula so see this is one forest and in this forest there are k components components means what there are k trees okay so see these are the trees t1 t2 t3 up to tk so k number of trees are there in this forest so how many edges will be there we are given there are total n vertices in this forest so assume there are n1 vertices in this tree then there are n2 vertices in the second tree then there are n3 vertices in the third tree up to c nk vertices in the kth tree and the total number of vertices in the forest is given to be n okay so see total number of vertices are n and these vertices are divided into these trees right so this is one equation right now we are going to make use of this formula okay so in a tree the number of edges is equal to n minus 1 so let's write the number of edges for each tree and when we add those number of edges in each tree they will be the number of edges in the forest see obviously number of edges in this tree e1 plus e2 plus e3 plus up to ek so the total of these edges will be the total number of edges in this forest okay so what is e1 c number of edges in tree 1 okay so e1 plus e2 plus e3 plus up to ek okay up to the kth tree is equal to our answer that is the total number of edges in the forest so see here what is the formula for e1 that is n1 minus 1 because number of edges is equal to the vertices minus 1 that is the formula we have seen in previous videos so e1 is equal to n1 minus 1 so for this tree how many number of edges will be there they will be vertices minus 1 so number of vertices are n1 so n1 minus 1 plus n2 minus 1 plus n3 minus 1 plus dot 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 nk minus 1 is equal to the total number of edges in the forest okay ef that is edges in the forest so i will write this equation in another way now see n1 plus n2 plus n3 plus dot 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 plus nk okay so i wrote these n1 n2 n3 up to nk together minus all ones okay so 1 plus 1 plus 1 so how many times this will be there it will be k times k times 1 is equal to ef 
so see this one will be added k times because there are k trees okay so this one will be added for k times so the total addition will be k right so this will be k this total will be k and this n1 plus n2 up to nk what is this we have seen we have derived the equation one what is that that is equal to n so this is n okay and minus k so n minus k so our formula is n minus k is equal to the number of ages in the forest see i have written here total number of edges in the forest will be equal to n minus k means total number of vertices minus number of trees means number of components in that forest so n minus k is equal to the total number of edges in the forest so from this formula we can also derive one more formula k is equal to n minus ef so total number of vertices total number of vertices minus total number of edges in that forest will be equal to the total number of trees in the forest so total number of trees in a forest if you want to find out the total number of trees in the forest and if you are given the total number of vertices and total number of edges then just subtract them means tv minus te total number of vertices minus total number of edges will give you total number of components that is total number of trees and if you are given n vertices and k components then total number of edges will be equal to n minus k this is the answer so let's see an example now so see here this is a forest and these are the trees in the forest see these are different components means trees in the forest so tree t1 t2 and t3 in tree t1 there are three vertices so n is equal to 3 n1 we will call it as n1 is equal to 3 now n2 is equal to 4 and n3 is equal to 2 okay so these are the number of vertices in each tree and how many components are there means how many trees are there they are 3 so k is equal to 3 and what is the total number of vertices c 3 plus 4 is 7 plus 2 is 9 so the total number of vertices is 9 here right so let's see whether we can find out how many number of edges are there from this two information so n minus k number of edges in the forest is equal to n minus k so what is that see 9 minus 3 is equal to 6 so let's count the number of edges and verify this formula see 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 yes so the formula is verified there are six edges okay now for a minute just assume an another example here so if you are given the number of edges if you are given the number of edges in the forest so what is the number of edges six this is given and if you are given the number of vertices in the forest okay so what is the total number of vertices that is 9 means i will say it another way see total number of edges in the forest is equal to 6 and total number of vertices in the forest is equal to 9 so how many trees are there in the forest that is the question how many components or trees are there in the forest okay so how many are there so see what is the formula tv minus te so 9 minus 6 it is equal to 3 that means there are three trees in that forest or three components in that forest so let's count the number of components 1 2 
yes there are three components in the forest so the formula is verified so in this way you can solve the problems on forest in graph theory hey friends please subscribe to my channel as i post algorithm videos every day and if you want a video on any particular topic then please mention in the comment below thank you